permisos de carga están algo limitados. <risa> Sigues odiando el inglés. ¿Qué si te dijera que te tengo un cargamento que podría sacarte de todos tus problemas? No sé. Le prometí a Rob que pasaremos tiempo en casa. ¿Qué pasó, mi Rush? ¿Tú no eras así? ¿Qué te hicieron? Les dije que tú eras el mejor. Está bien, Teo. Tú ganas. Mándame las coordenadas. Eso. Así se habla. Con esto quedamos a mano, ¿ah? ¿eh? Cambio y fuera. A great sci-fi story that explores um, a relationship between a daughter and a father and how uh, their arduous job being essentially space um, transporters. It's very similar, um, I have to say, in vain to things like Alien, but it takes its own unique spin on these things. It's just enough of an homage without being considered a ripoff in any way. Um, their cargo has a deadly secret and that um, really affects, <laughs> to say the least, um, how their relationship is. It's a great story with amazing special effects that is rooted in something meaningful. So it's not just about all the fanfare and the spectacle of it all. It really has something meaningful to say about human connection. Like, well done. The production value was incredible. Um, it looked, you know, blockbuster quality. It was just very, very high production value. Just in incredible. I'm repetitive, but like it needs to be said. It, it was very, very well done. Um, Story-wise, you know, uh, with the sci-fi, these larger sci-fi epics, it can be difficult to get into a story, especially one that's set up for, you know, uh, uh, sequels such as this one, to go in without having prior knowledge of this universe that you're building, but you built this story and this uh, landscape so well that it was pretty easy to get into and to understand what was going on throughout the throughout the piece um, without having all of that background knowledge fed to you along the way. Um, these characters, you want to watch them succeed. It's this typical good versus evil narrative. It, it was really entertaining to watch. Um, and like I said, the production value for stories like this, it, it does a ton and it draws you in and it makes you want to keep watching and not think of it as like a rinky dink side project that someone's doing. It looks very well um, produced, very well thought out. And uh, I can't wait to see what what else comes out of this piece because it was so well done. Amazing, outstanding special effects. I truly enjoyed this one. It looked like a high quality Hollywood production. They paired with great performances and a truly, truly engaging um, script. The, the story is plausible, um, totally engaging as I said. I love the specifically the spaceship. All the special effects, yes, are just mind blowing. I love the robots, the reference to robots and the monster or alien that they showcase the effect on people um, who are exposed to this substance or uh, yeah, energy and. It is, I am hooked. I would love to follow up on it. And it is an outstanding production. Kudos to anyone involved. Um, I love that it was called that as the journey. Um, and what a journey indeed. Absolutely gorgeous CGI and, and design of the whole thing. Uh, extremely professional, sleek. There wasn't one thing that I thought, mm, that looks a little cheesier. I don't believe that. All of the uh, technology interacted with, the elaborate spacecrafts, the vision of space, uh, the robots, all were absolute quality, top notch, um, and just fun to visually indulge in. Uh, the tension and the anticipation was really held brilliantly by the the pacing and the rhythm of the piece. So I was never bored. Um, 
which is nice. And you also got this visual feast along the way too. So for some of the more quiet moments, uh, it, it really just kept me searching the scene to see what other things I can yeah, feast my eyes on. Strong. I, I don't mean to undersell it by saying what one of like the best things, but it, it is visually stunning. The CGI is incredible. It is absolute art. Like that you can really see the time and work and effort put into that. And I, I just think they did a really good job with it. Um the sound design too, it, it keeps you on edge. Everything it has this it is just so well put together. Um, it, and that alien, that is the coolest, freakiest looking like alien I've ever seen. It's just, it's just so creative. And um, I, I like how the story ends up coming together. Um, it's this downfall. There's a lot of like spaceship sci-fi movies that kind of have to end um, where like, like everything's good again. They, they save the day, whatever. Um, but it doesn't give you that satisfying ending. You, you're left with that last transmission and that was it. And I, I think that was a really great choice. It was original storytelling. It was good. It, not everything has to be tied up in a bow. And I think this definitely didn't need to be. Um, I, I thought it was great. I thought it was really well done. Uh, respect to the, the filmmakers, everything was very intentional. I, I, I loved it. This team, this filmmaking team definitely is ready for to like is should apply for jobs at ILM at Industrial Light and Magic because they are Star Wars ready yo there's uh Guardians of the Galaxy ready yo these visuals um were like pretty much ready like Hollywood ready like um um ready to go you know they could fit in Star Wars or or Star Trek or any of these like space movies um the visuals the graphics um were on that level um so Y'all team, go start applying at um, ILM. Um, I'm sure they'll hire you. Sound design too. Uh, whoever did the sound design, that whole team, the whole sound department, go start applying at uh, Skywalker Sound because they need you. <laughs> um, also, the writing and directing was excellent. Um, like storytelling wise, um, it was really. Uh, I really liked that they left it. That they uh, left it on this dark moment. Um, I think that was a strong choice because you really feel it. Like that's rough, you know, for. Um, him and his daughter and uh you really feel for it so that and that, that is a testament to good storytelling um so overall really good what job beautiful special effects in this film i loved the spaceship i love the shape of it the shape of the spaceship and the way that all the visuals um were so uh gorgeous and um really effective really engaging um i loved the like weird soldier robots with their like scary mask faces <laughs> super creepy also like this film made me realize, I was like, how come everybody in space always has like a British accent or American, but like often British? I was like, here we have people speaking Spanish in space. Like, why don't we ever see that? So um, thanks for challenging my ingrained assumptions that I didn't even realize that I had. Um, I loved seeing that. I love seeing people speaking Spanish in space. Spanish in space. Um, and the plot line, I thought the actor's performance, the lead actor, the like uh, papa character, daddy character, I thought he had a very grounded performance. I think it's fun when you have these really outlandish visuals to have an actor who plays it very natural and very grounded. So that definitely happened here. And the, the plot line was very um, emotional, very wrenching. Um, so overall, I think like a really rich and um, powerful, arresting uh, film.